Today is date day. Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> so today we are going on a bookish date. Megan, do you want to tell them a little bit about it? So Shane had this adorable idea inspired by the fact that we are both going to be reading a book a week mm -hmm. in, the, in new the new year. year. And we kind of already started because he's we gave ourselves a head start. Yeah, so I'm three books deep right now, which I feel like so wonderful about. But the bookstores that we're going to be checking out today are the classic Barnes & Noble, because I have a gift card. But then the really exciting part of this is that we're going to uh, two independent bookstores in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So if you're from Michigan or the Ann Arbor area, then maybe you could check these out. Um, the first one that we're going to is, uh, how would you say that? Literati. <laughs> and then uh, the Don Treater Bookshop, which a co-worker of mine recommended. One of the challenges that we're going to be doing while they're, we're there is that I'm going to be picking a book for Megan and Megan's going to be picking a, picking a book for me. There's a stipulation because I like pretty much everything rom-com, but oh, he's yeah. not allowed to pick a rom-com. You has, all know the type. You walk by, there's a typically like an a entire... display yeah, of set adorable out. They have like the really like fluffy like... Covers. Yeah. So really nice. he has to pick me a like a self-help or mm -hmm. gross... Something Not about minim minimalism, finance, interior design. Those are like basically what I'm working with. Those are some yes. of Megan's interests. What are your three areas that I should be looking for? Um, I would also like something like self-help. That would be wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So, um, or something like fantasy, but I don't really feel like getting into a really long series like five, six, seven. The most I would want was like a trilogy. Okay. So mm -hmm. Shane did give me a few possible recommendations last night that I might be using. Yeah, but we're on the road today and we're bringing you guys with us, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you when we get there. Bye. Initial thoughts and impressions? I was quite impressed. Mm -hmm. There were three levels. And the only thing I will say, and you need to tell me if you agree with this or not, but I think that sometimes it's hard to navigate bookstores, especially if you've never been to that specific store, because I was hopeful that I would find something for Shane in 
the self-help-ish section and I honestly was having trouble even finding where it was. They all have their own flavor of how they organize the books. Sometimes I'm like, oh God, where is everything? For me, I could hardly help myself. I think it's an easy nine out of 10. I bought two books. I easily could have bought a hundred. <laughs> I thought the staff was really, really nice. I made a few of them laugh while I was checking out. And yeah, it was an overwhelmingly positive experience. It was so bright and beautiful inside and just being surrounded in such a bookish place was really, really yeah, special. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice outside right now too. So there was a lot of natural light coming in and it was very, it was romanticized. Literati, that's gonna be really tough to beat, but we're on to our next bookstore right now, so more to come. Okay, we're in the car now on the way to the next bookstore, but I have one more thing that I wanna say about Literati. Of the two books that I bought, granted one of them was hardcover, were $53. Oh, I know, boy. so that was a lot of money to spend on two books. Anyways, that was my only critique though, is that it was expensive. So, so far, this has been the craziest exper experience. Everything is everywhere, and, but like within the chaos, there's some sort of order. And I went up to an employee and I said, hey, I'm looking for a book called The Go-Giver. And she described the store as a treasure hunt. And I think that that is the perfect way to describe it. Like, there are hidden gems all throughout this store and you just need to know where to look. So, I found the book that I was looking for, my piece of treasure. Okay, so we have agreed. If we free ourselves from the addiction of buying books, we will come back and sell them. We sell books. To, to buy further more books. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. so here's the tea. Off the cuff, that was cool for me because Shane actually didn't tell me that it was like a used bookstore. So we walked and in. And that's because I, was I like, didn't know. Oh, okay. So both of us were I like, had no oh. idea. when we walked in, I was expecting the same exact, you know, modern day bookstore, beautiful shelves. And it was very haphazard, which I didn't like at first. But I mm -hmm. definitely, by the end, grew to appreciate it for what it was, especially considering we got to talk to the actual owner. Uh, come to find out, she. Um, had worked there for many years, became the manager, and the former o owner had retired, and when he did, she bought the shop from him. So the place has uh, changed hands many times over, and that's added to the historic, like, well-lived-in feel. So out of 10, what's your rating? I would say 7 out of 10, because it was overwhelming for me a little bit. I think this is either a 7 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, depending on who you are. I think it's a 7 out of 10 for most people, but if you see and appreciate it for what it is, then it might be the place for you. If you're trying to find the latest, hottest, newest book, then this is not the place for you. You actually won't find it. Yeah, but if you want to do like a huge book haul, like the book that I bought was $6. Mine so was 8. I'll give it an 8. I think it was an 8. Okay. Yeah. It was bumped up by the owner because of how nice she was. We have reached our local Barnes and Noble, and there's not much to say about it other than it's a Barnes and Noble. Check out how busy it is. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. Megan, what just happened? I just met Aiden Hutchinson. Yay! If you're a Barnes Detroit Lions fan, you know how big of a deal this is. All my coworkers love Aiden Hutchinson, mm -hmm. and this was a big moment for me. Yeah, he's a he's a freak. He's very tall. Such a nice guy, though. Feels like home. Ooh. Ooh. This one is really expensive, but really drawn to it. 